Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today it will be the start of a new little series called Tea Break Fix. Something short and sweet to take 5 or 10 minutes out of your day, kick back with a cup of tea or coffee and just watch something get repaired. I hope you like it. In this video today we're going to try and fix up this old BT phone here. This is just a, a DET phone, so a landline phone and you can see that the display has completely gone. It works. You can hear there, we've got dial tone, but just the display is awful. So let's take it apart just to see if there's anything that can be done to sort out that display. There we go. So it looks like it's clipped in. I wonder if it's just a pressure fit. So I'm just going to uh, undo that there. Now let's have a look. Oh, okay, so it's there. Yeah, so I think what's happened is, sorry for the weird camera angle, but I think that over time, this is very similar to, what did I do recently where I had to do the screen? Oh, that was it, the little dy uh, Dymo or whatever it was called, the label printer. And what a lot of people said is just run an iron over it, not too hot, but hot enough to reheat the adhesive because basically with these they're just like kind of like conductive paint in a way and it's just resting against there so I think that's probably that's probably what's happened either that I mean the display itself could be faulty it could also be faulty where it's meeting the the screen here well having a closer look here the batteries are still in it but the actual tape has been kind of folded in on itself can you see the tape's nice this side it's going front and back but on this side it's folded in so I think from brand new it hasn't been stuck down properly so I'm just going to try to get some tweezers take the batteries out I'm just going to try to just fold that tape out a little bit because when we put it up here the display actually gets better and if you look at that now there you go look at that handset one but I'm thinking look if I do that can you see it's coming back so I'm thinking it's more to do with this bottom connection so let's try to unpick that a bit right I've managed to kind of unstick that it's incredibly sticky when it's folded back on itself. So now I'm going to put it back to where it should be and uh, let's see if that's enough to make any difference or not. No, not really. It's slightly better, but it's still missing loads of segments. So it looks like it needs soldering. So I've got my iron set to 200 degrees Celsius and I've got quite a big tip on it. Let's get started. Oh, it definitely feels flatter. Try that before we uh, do any do any more. I can always do I can always do it again. Oh, oh look, a little bit more. Let's take the batteries out again. Maybe maybe I need to go a little bit hotter. I'm going to go up to 250 degrees Celsius, and we'll try again. Oh, now we're getting there. That's definitely getting better. We can see the battery symbol now. So I'm going to give it another go, keeping the heat the same, 250 degrees Celsius, and just go over it a couple more times, and hopefully all the adhesive will have melted, and it will make a good contact again. Ha 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 ha! Handset one. There we go. Perfect. Handset one. Right, let's get this back together, and uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what it looks like then. There we go. Fantastic. So that's working. So now, if we go to dial a number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. Well, there you go, one fixed screen. I didn't actually think that would work as well as it did, especially when we started doing the solar line to begin with and nothing came up. Just shows you have to keep on going over and over, and that was at 250 degrees Celsius. That's come out really, really, really good. So that is it for the very first ever 
tea break fix. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for possibly more of these in the future. Take care. Bye now. Thank you.